Hi, I'm Colleen Fritz. I'm an AT specialist with Palm Beach County School District. And we are going to do a training today on how to program buttons on the Touch Chat app and also on the Chat Editor software program. So I'm going to share my screen. Communication app, Touch Chat. All right, this is a second video in uh, quite a few video trainings that I'm doing on Touch Chat, how to program a button. So Touch Chat is a communication app that can be installed on an iPad. It can come with pre-programmed page sets from the company that you can customize for your student, or you can make a brand new page set from scratch. So today we're going to look at two things. We're going to program on a computer using chat editor software. And we're also going to look at programming directly on the touch chat app on the iPad. Here is the icon for the chat editor that would be on your computer. And if it's not there yet, uh, there's a training on how to get that installed on your computer. And here's a picture of what touch chat looks like. So first, we're going to talk about programming a button directly on the iPad Touch Chat app. Now, I have my iPad with Touch Chat on it, but it's really difficult to see this on the screen. So what I'm going to do is just go through a series of pictures. So here's the first one. You're on a particular page, and you want to update it. See that it says name, and you want it to say Colleen. Maybe you want to add something here, some more information. So the very first thing that you're going to do is touch the menu button. Once you touch the menu button, you get another drop down, and you're going to choose Edit Page. Then your screen on your iPad will change, and you'll get this big, long, red uh, rectangle across the top. Then you're going to choose the button that you want to customize or reprogram or change the information on. And then you'll choose to edit this button. Once you're there, you can change the name and I can type in Colleen. Also, if I decide I want the message to say something more than just Colleen, I can type in, my name is Colleen Fritz right here. The next thing we're going to look at is there's no image selected. So we can select an image, or you can take a picture and import an image. So I decided just to select an image, and I searched for a woman. And I found this one here. And I clicked on that. And then the next thing I did was scroll down to the very bottom because I wanted to show you that at the very bottom you have button actions. This button was already set up to speak the message only and not do anything else. There are a number of other behaviors that we will talk about in the future. Then you are finished, so you're going to click on Done, and you can see the name is there, and the symbol I chose is there, and I've been able to update that page set. So now let's look at programming directly on Chat Editor. So here's my Chat Editor software on my computer, and just like before, I have a button here that I would like to put my name. So what I'll be able to do is just click on edit mode. I'm going to right click on the button that I want to program. And then I have a list of things I, I can do. But what I need to do is at the very top, edit button. Now, it looks similar to the dialog box you saw directly on the iPad, but it looks a little different. So you can see label, and I'm going to type Colleen. 
And I've decided I want my message to be more than just calling. I want to be able to introduce myself. So I'm going to say, my name, name is Colleen. Next, I can search, because it says image right here, I can search for an image. Or, like I said before, I could import if I had a picture that I wanted to place there. I'm going to go for a generic picture and hit search. And it says, oh, there are no images called Colleen. So I will search for woman and hit search. Now there are a number of pictures that I can scroll through. And once I find one that I think looks something like me, I can select it. Okay. So also something that looks different when you're working directly on the iPad, I just scroll down to find the button actions. But on Chat Editor, you can see three tabs across the top. One of them is Style. Now, I don't want my label at the bottom. I want my label at the top. So here, under Style, I can put my label on the top. I can also decide to make the font larger or smaller. I'm going to look at a little bit smaller. I can change the colors here. I can make the, the print bold. So this is where style is. Actions are what the button is going to do. And here is a drop down. You can see right now, speak message only is what, cho what is chosen but I want you to see that there are many different button actions. And I would say when I'm programming, I use approximately four different uh, behaviors because they just seem to be common behaviors. So since I like the one that I have, I'm gonna click off, speak message only is the one that I want, and I'm ready to go. If that wasn't there, so I'm going to remove it. If that wasn't already chosen, I would go and I would look for speak message only. Speak message only, and I would select it and add it. There it is. Now I can say OK. And there's my button. Now, sometimes you may not have a button already located there. So what I like to do is you can right click and create a new button, but I, what I like better is to copy a button. So I'm going to choose this Colleen button. I'm going to copy the button, go to the place where I want the copy to go, and I'm gonna paste the button. And now I can change this to what I want it to say. So I'm going to right click, choose edit button, just like we did before. And this time, I want my label to say AT Specialist. And then I want my message to be, I am an AT Specialist. I can keep the same picture or Let's search and see if there's a different one. Oh, they have a picture for an AT specialist, so I'm going to select it, select, say OK. And now I've added a second button where there wasn't a button before. By copying the first button, then I pasted the button, then I edited the button. So one of the other things I like about chat editor, besides the fact that you don't take the device away from the, the, the AAC user, taking away their voice essentially, is that if I have to program a lot, I can move from page to page. So if I need to get to the About Me page or the Let's Talk page or the Conversational page, I can just click on that page and I'm staying in edit mode. When you're on the device, you can edit one page at a time. You go into edit page, do your changes, select done, and then go to the next page you want to edit, go back into edit page, etc. Here, I can go 
move from page to page and make my necessary changes. When I'm finished, I click on edit mode and I'm now out of edit mode and I have my changes made. So it's on your computer. And next we're gonna talk about how we're going to move this page set from the computer to the student's device. So I thank you so much for participating in today's training. And I hope this help you, helped you to learn how to program a button on chat editor software and the touch chat app on the iPad. Have a great day. Bye.